Well, first, I've still never seen my season of The Bachelor. I've I've never seen that infamous after the final rose. I've seen clips and stuff, but um, it's weird. I'll be honest. It's it's just really surreal because it feels like a lifetime ago. It feels like I was a different person then. And so when I see the clips and I, you know, I hear people talk, it almost makes me cringe. Like, oh, yeah. gosh, I felt like such a little girl getting her heart broken and everybody got to see it and judge it. Yeah. So you guys are engaged in New Zealand. The yeah. camera, the camera stopped rolling. Um, what happens after that? Well, um, you go back home, and and the weirdest part for me in particular is that, you know, I went on this huge journey. You know, I I, I went and I met Jason, and I fell in love, and I got engaged, and then things started not going real well with Jason and I. You know, when we didn't see each other and our relationship was strictly long distance and by phone. It was different. It was yeah. weird. And I chalked it up to, it's just that we're not together. Once we get together again, it'll be fine. And the one person I should have been able to talk to about it, which was Jason, right. I felt like I didn't have. Yeah. At any point, did Jason ever mention that he still had feelings for Molly? So I had actually heard, here's some behind the scenes. I had heard from Jillian huh. that Molly had mentioned she had talked to Jason. So I, I just brought it up to him casually, and he said, yes, actually, I was given her number on the last day of filming so that I could call and check on her and make sure she was okay with everything. And I went, okay, absolutely, that, that's great. But I never thought, though, that it was anything beyond him just checking on her. And so tell me about that day on the After the Final Rose special. You know, I didn't know what to expect. I'm backstage. And I watched the proposal, which I'd never seen before. So I'm going out emotional, yeah. you know, as you can imagine. And I'll be honest, what happened was not how I ever thought that it could have gone. Yeah. When he looked at me and said, I don't want you, I want her, I went, Yeah. whoa, what is happening right now? The one person I should have been able to trust in all of this yeah. is the one that I felt like had deceived me. And so you walk off the stage, what, what happens? Where'd you go? What was life like? Ugh. Well, immediately after I went to my hotel room and was like, what the heck? And so any girl out there knows that the angrier you are after a breakup, the easier it is to, yeah. to move on. And you know what, that's the last time I haven't talked to him, but you know, it's been, it's been 11 years. I mean, yeah. life has completely changed for all of us. Yeah. I have three kids, nine, six, and four, um, and yeah, still living in Dallas. So things are great. And I can honestly say that it would not have happened for me personally without Bachelor. Um, you know, my husband now is an old relationship, but what happened during my relationship with Jason and how it ended changed me as a person. And therefore, when Ty and I were able to give the relationship another shot, I was different. Yeah. And if I had not gone through that, I can completely confidently say that Ty and I would not be together today.